Hi and welcome back to my channel. Now in this video we're just doing a little unboxing of a Festool energy set. Now this is a battery pack and charger all in a nice sustainer. Now the reason I'm doing this video is because I wanted to show you what Festool have come up with with these 8 amp hour batteries. Now the new Festool 8 amp hour battery is, is when you get one of these batteries and you put it next to your normal 5.2 amp hour batteries, Festool have designed these batteries to be exactly the same thickness. So now whatever tool you put them in, you're not going to have a problem with the tool falling over once you put the battery in. Now it's always been a problem with something like Milwaukee's 9 amp hour battery, because if you chuck this on a tool, it always seems to fall over when you stand it up on that. But what Festool have done, obviously they've made the battery longer, but they've kept the exact same depth for when putting it in your tool. I'll show you now, two seconds. With the Milwaukee's 9 amp hour battery and the Milwaukee 5 amp hour battery, you can see that the Milwaukee bat 9 amp hour is massive. It's very weighty. It does give a lot of bang for its buck. But when I've noticed the difference with the 8 amp hour fast tool, this isn't too heavy, to be honest with you. It's a nice weight. This is lighter. But this ain't that much heavier. All they've done is they've made it longer and wider. And that's all they've changed on these batteries, which I think is a little bit of a game changer with Fast Tool because it's not going to make your tools fall over. So if we just grab a tool now, you're going to get a tool. i got my dog in here, which is a bit awkward. If we put the 8 amp hour battery on the tool lock, I can chuck it on, that is. Stand him up. And right, she stands up. It is a little bit heavier this side. But with this battery on the back here, it doesn't make it fall over. That's great. That's what you want to do with a tool. You want to use your tool. You want to put it down. You don't want it to fall over. You don't want it to fall our way. Damage something else you don't want it to do. First tool have actually come up with this. And for hang on now, let's just make this battery longer and wider. And not make it bloody taller like the other suppliers. Get your 5 amp hour battery. Your 5.2. Chuck it on there. No difference, look, see? It does exactly the same thing as the 8 amp hour battery because they've gone and made it the same height. It's a simple thing. Milwaukee, on the other hand, completely different heights. Makes things a little bit more awkward. Put the battery in the tool, the tool always falls bloody over. It's a bit of a nightmare, really, but we get used to it. We learn to put the tools on the side. But that's nice and quick now, so you can use your power tool. All right, bish, bash, bosh. Put your tool down, it's not going to fall over. Some people might comment on this video and say, well, that don't bother me, I put my tool down, I never stand it up. But most people, when they use a drill, they stand it up on a battery. I think that's what everyone does. So I just wanted to show you the difference with the first tool battery over the Milwaukee battery. And I'll give you another video in on the runtime on the new KHC. Threes, now these are cool. I haven't used them yet, all right, so I couldn't tell you how good they are and what the runtime is like on them. But I am very impressed with the simple design that they've done on here. You can put your tool down and it's not going to fall over. On the plus side in these sets, all right, you actually get space to put two chargers in and an additional two spaces to put your batteries in. I think it's a nice little system they've done there. It's a nice set. Uh, we're going to test them out. This is one last thing I just wanted to mention on this video. Now, with these new Fast Tool 8 amp hour batteries, well, I'm saying they're new, they've been out a good six months. It's, it's new to me because I've only just bought them. All right. When you use the Airstream charger, all right, I charged this battery. Now, I should have actually put a timer on it to show you. I've got to charge the other one up because it hasn't been charged yet. When I charge this on the charger, all right. From flat, one bar to full power, this charged in 26 minutes. Now, I was shocked. I did read they do it in around the half hour mark, but it shocked me the fact that they've done it in 26 minutes. I actually timed it. I thought, let's have a look how quick this can actually charge a battery. So you've got no chance, I don't think, of using this tool, draining our battery down, all right, to nothing, and that's going to be charged. So i got no time to have a cup of bloody tea now in between. It means you're just going to be flat out working. So I don't know how good this tool is yet. Like I said, I'm going to do a video on it. We're going to do a bit of a demo. 
I've actually got the Milwaukee SDS as well, the Fuel. That's a bit of a beast. And we run that on the 9 amp hour battery. I know this is a 9, that's an 8. And we'll see what sort of run time we get on our man. Maybe it's a bit of a different video for you. It's not all fast tool then, is it? There's Milwaukee involved as well, which is another great tool that I love. And uh, we'll see how that video goes as well. So if you get something from this video, you know what I mean? Like and subscribe if you want, if you like the sort of content I'm doing. I know this is a bit of an unboxing video, but maybe it's going to give you some idea. And maybe you might want to buy these batteries and, and invest in this system and add them to your kit and everything. But I will say I do like the fact that they're the same height. I think it's going to change a lot for people. Um, obviously give you longer work time and cut all that bit out. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Over and out.